one of my f subscribers asked if I could show them how to connect the, your Wi-Fi adapter for your Sina. It's actually fairly straightforward and this should be a pretty short video. Um, you're going to go ahead and plug this in, make sure the lights are turning on. If this is the first time you're going to use it, it's going to be uh, pretty simple. Once you turn it on, you're going to go to your settings and you're going to connect to the Sina Wi-Fi when it shows up. Uh, you're going to connect to that, then you're going to go into the app and then go up to the th three bars on the top left corner and then go to Wi-Fi setup. You're going to click on that and it'll scroll through a couple of the options and it'll have you scan. It should automatically connect if you're connected to this. Now I did have a little trouble. Um, my phone kept kicking off the Wi-Fi connector and going to the Wi-Fi signal that actually had internet. So you may need to forget your old Wi-Fi, um, your original Wi-Fi network, and solely go off of this one. That's the problem I had at first. After I did that, it worked fine and seamless. When when you do that, when you connect, it, it'll take you uh, to the available Wi-Fi wi screen. You're gonna click scan and then your Wi-Fi network should pop up, the one that's your main one that's always connected to the internet. You're gonna type in your password if you have one, which I do recommend you have. Once you enter that in, it should say it's successful and you're all connected. It is that easy. And then in the app, you can actually, you can actually uh, see what version is on here and you can see what version is on here and you can check for latest updates, it's super simple. So that's it, that's all you really have to do. Now, if you bought this second hand for some reason down the road or somebody has used it before and connected to another network or you changed routers, passwords, etc., and it won't connect anymore, what you're gonna do is there is a little pin hole right in the back here. You're going to poke that until the all the lights turn red. Once the lights turn red, uh, then it is going into reset mode, and then you're going to have to follow the steps again to connect. Um, I wouldn't push on that pin too hard. It doesn't seem like it's that sturdy. I just uh, used a nail just very lightly until you feel or hear that little click. That's really all that you have to do. Um, I have not seen an update yet come through, so I don't know how efficient it is on it. If you do get an update, do not interrupt it. If that middle blue light is blinking and or on, do not unplug it. Um, do not unplug this from the unit. You may damage it, have to reset it, or it will break it. So just be cautious of that. If that middle light is on, let it run its course. So, all right. Well, thank you for watching this video. Please like uh, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one.